Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to share with you how I set up for a new month. So as we are in May, I will be setting up for the month of June. Uh, so before we, we begin, I just want to tell you to share with me as well how you set up for a new month in your planner or planners so that I can get inspired from your ideas too. So feel free to put that down in the comments below. And now let us begin. Now I will also go through the months that I do not set up because I just want to show you why I don't set them up as such. So this is the first spread that I use. Here I track my income. I have multiple sources of income. Uh, so this one there's nothing to do over here since I add it as I receive my income. Same goes for this spread. This is the yearly index. I use it as an index for my daily pages. So once I fill up the daily pages at the end of the month, I can come back and fill this. So again, not much to do over here or not. In fact, nothing to do over here. The next one we will be coming to is the monthly spread. Of course, the bookmark is in the month of May. Now coming to the month of June, there is one thing that I have pre-planned already for all the 12 months if you have seen my flip throughs you're probably aware of it so firstly what you see over here this washi tape that you see is already put up for all the 12 months to cover up the days that are not part of the month now it is not necessary to add that but i like to add it because it brings out a pop of color on that spread because i don't decorate the spread much as of otherwise and the Planning part includes just one factor. I have already written down birthdays and anniversaries for all the 12 months in advance um, the previous year. So you can see this corner stickers that I've used. I've used them to highlight the days when there are, when there are main events like birthdays or anniversaries that are important to me. So these are from Kita and I've just written down whoever is celebrating their birthday or anniversary as such. So I think this makes it a lot easier for me when I open a new month because uh, this is why I have chosen the Hobonichi as my main planner because the monthly spread is already there. I prefer this over using a bujo because I do not have the patience to set up an entire monthly spread. I used to at a certain point of time but I just don't have it now. Maybe I will come back to it later. But I can't see myself doing that anytime soon. So coming back to the next thing in the monthly spread, none of it can be set up as such in the sense that what I have generally over here are bills or events that come up that month that can be added only after they take place. Uh, as far as bills are concerned, what I generally do is I do not write down the deadline over here because I get automatic reminders on my phone um, and as soon as I see that I pay the bill. So I don't really need a reminder on my monthly spread for that. What I do instead is uh, I write down the day that uh, the date on the date that I paid the bill I note that down. So later on when we budget plan I don't do it for our family someone else does I have the date clearly mentioned over here that I've spent that amount on that day for that bill so that is what I do I hope I didn't confuse you with that so nothing much to do over here what we are going to start off with is actually the weekly spread now this is my current week isn't it Yes, oh, I'm so sorry, I got confused. Okay, this is my current week. Uh, this is what more or less I'm going to set up over here for the new week of June. Now, just to be clear, when we start a new month, I don't st uh, set up all the weeks. So there are about four to five weeks in a month. I don't set all of them up. Even this for that matter, generally I do my weekly planning uh, on a Sunday, but I just decided to do it now so that I can share it with you as such. So what I'm going to do is I'll just set up the first spread so that you can get an idea of how I set up a new spread. Now, when I set up the spread, it roughly takes me around 10 minutes to do it, which I don't think is a big amount of time to spend on it because uh, I'm fine with it. I do it towards the end of the day and uh, it's quite easy for me because it's repetitive. Okay, so I just need to have the outline done. Of course, there are some things that are new, which takes a little bit of time, but the rest of it is repetitive for me. I might be a little slow today because I am finding it difficult to talk and write, and this is not my desk. Um, I'm shooting at such, I'm filming this video at such a 
such a time that uh, when I am free, there is no light, there is no, I don't have a tripod with me right now. Uh, in fact, I don't have one. I have just a weird kind of setup over here. Uh, this is not a flat surface, so you might see a number of issues, uh, but please bear with me. So let's begin. Now the first thing that I want to share with you is this pen. This is the pen that I am using, not only for this spread. I have been using for a, this for a long while in my Hobonichi. In fact, the only pen that I am using in my Hobonichi as of this year. So let me just bring this up close. Okay, it's all faded out, but this is the Erin Condren black marker pen. So it has a fine tip on one end and a medium tip on the other. I will open it up and show it to you later as I go through the spread. But I just wanted to speak about it for a while because this might be a surprising choice. Um, many of you might be using the more popular pens like the Pigma Micron or any of the popular pens that work well with this paper. But I go for this simply because of a number of reasons. In no particular order, I would say that one, it is easily accessible to me because um, I anyway order products from Erin Condren, so I just need to add this to the cart as well instead of buying it, uh, it separately. And add it to the fact that this pen uh, just works for me in the sense that I find that it has the correct sort of black color that I need. It is not too light, not too dark. It works on my spreads perfectly. Uh, of course, there is ghosting if you can see over here which does not bother me. There is no bleed through which is great and of course uh, there is smearing as well. But just to be clear, uh, this might be a little weird in the sense that if you've noticed my previous flip throughs, uh, I have complained a lot about the smearing issues of this pen and even requested for other suggestions as such. Um, but weirdly I have noticed that there has not been much of a smearing for a long while. I think it has even completely stopped for that matter. So I think there are two possibilities at this point of time. Either I am so distracted that I am not even noticing that there is smearing happening or it is actually not happening because I am being um, unknowingly careful about it. I know that I am not taking any special efforts to be careful so I don't know how that is happening. It's still the same pen but there has not been much of a smearing these days. Anyway, um, to the other factors why I like this pen. Um, as I said, there are two tips to it and what I do is there is always this pen in my planner. So when I move it around, I do not need to look for other pens. With this just one pen, I can make the entire spread without any difficulties. So I don't have to look around for other pens. One pen, uh, the final tip for the regular writing and of course the medium tip for the headers as such. Of course, uh, there might be a con in the sense that uh, the fine tip gets, the ink in the fine tip gets over quickly and the medium tip remains. Um, but it's not a huge issue because I just use the medium tip later for writing in my commonplace notebook or such. Uh, and another thing is that uh, the price of this pen uh, is uh, 10 or 11 dollars max for a set of three. Okay, for a set of three. And I've told you before, I never pay, buy anything from EC at the full price. I generally go for one of their larger sales to come. So like the Black Friday sale or a warehouse sale. And I've noticed that uh, I can't tell you the exact duration of time, but I know that the three, the set of three will last me for a year with the amount of writing that I do in my Hobonichi cousin. Uh, this is the only place that I use this pen. So I won't say I use it a lot. It depends on how much you have to write but I think it's a reasonable price and it works for me and by the time I need a newer set I think it will be time for the next sale so I can just get another set as such so currently I'm on the second pen I have one more left and I think I can last till Black Friday uh, before ordering another set as such so yeah I'm stuck with this pen even though I initially wanted to change this pen so let's get back to the spread this is probably the only accessory that, not probably, this is the only accessory that I use in my weekly spread. I use this Hobonichi stencil only for two reasons. One is this one. It is written as sad, um, but I use it as a water tracker. And I use the stars that you see over here for, you know, the ratings that I give the books that I read. 
uh, I have the blue stencil as well but I don't really use it so this is about it for this stencil and you can of course use it as a ruler as well if you wish to so I kind of skipped the previous spread um, that is why I just took a break and came back something came up which I might want to add on that spread not sure which I do not want to share over here so I'll just um, you know skip that spread and I've gone to the next week uh, but it's more or less the same thing so I'll just show it to you over here so I go in a sort of vertical way from top to bottom and it takes me about 10 minutes to finish a weekly spread it will probably take a lot more over here as I'm talking and trying to concentrate as well what I can tell you is that um, it's more or less repetitive okay so I don't have to think much about what comes on every weekly spread except for one specific thing which changes every week the rest of it is the same thing so it doesn't take me much time as such now what I'm doing here is uh, drawing the water tracker I'm kind of not used to this so you will see a little bit of me lagging maybe next time I should try doing a voiceover for situations like this so that I don't drag the video much meanwhile if you have any other questions regarding how I'm setting up this or any other videos that you would like to see soon please mention it down below and I'll try to get back to that as soon as I can so once I do this I plan on completing the rest of my trackers so I have exactly five trackers I try to not go beyond five uh, not that I've kept a specific number of five but I don't want to wait too many that you know I lose interest in tracking as such so once that is done I go to the left hand side where I write, do the rest of my trackers so it's rather minimal I would say so there is hair care uh, hair care in the sense that I have this routine which I don't follow every day that is why I put it down over here I leave two lines and then write the next one which is skin care so two lines one line for uh, taking off or crossing depending on whether I did that or not and another line just for some space and then after skin care I have vitamins now if you've noticed my habit trackers I would say they are fairly simple because uh, of course this is there but largely I would say they are simple because I don't want to have to draw complicated habit trackers every week and also have to deal with filling it up in a difficult manner every day as well I'd like to keep it more or less simple now what I'm doing over here is uh, writing down the hours this is my sleep tracker that is why and on the left hand side I write down the days and that's it I'm done with that I'm sorry uh, then this is when I use the medium tip which is the larger one this is the fine tip this is the medium one and what I do is I divide the page into three sections I don't use it as a timeline so the top section is me time for me now I don't use uh, stickers for the headers I know that I don't have a great handwriting but I'm fine with writing this on my own because if I try to get stickers every for every weekly spread that would be a lot of expense I think for me at least so I just write it using this uh, medium tip instead and it works fine for me because it stands out how I want it to um, but I really really wish that you know I would practice more of lettering and other techniques so that it looks a lot more neater as such so this is repetitive every week then what comes below it um, Firstly, it is the book that I'm going to read uh, this week as such. So let me just flip through to my, this is my to be read section. This has been done already. Okay, so this is where I am at. Okay, so this is the next book. I don't write the whole title, I just write the first letter. So T-A-R, that would be T-A-R. 
Now what I didn't do right now which I will do later once I stop the video is check out the number of pages. I just check out the number of pages. Okay the video got cut off. Uh, I check out the number of pages to you know get an idea of how many days I need to finish that book because generally I can make a guess based on the number of pages but of course it also depends on whether I like the book or not. Uh, so I don't go and write this for the entire week on a general basis but this time I just went and did that. Um, and what comes below that is the number of pages that I finished reading that day but that comes on a day to day basis as I read the book. So I will read a line, leave a line for that then another line just to get some space and then the next thing is the YouTube channel that I am watching for language learning purposes again just the first letters of the channel and this one I can set up for the entire week in the sense that what I do over here is uh, write down the name of the video that I'm going to watch each day. This I do in advance. Okay, so <coughs> so sorry. I tend to stick to just one video per day. Because I don't think I can deal with more than one on a day. I'll probably fast forward through this section so that it doesn't bore you much. Um, but yes, what I do is I just refer to the channel. Then I write down the title of the video that I'm going to watch or listen to as such that day. On some days I can go for more than one. Uh, but that is very rare. I try not to do that. And the reason is simple because uh, even though her videos are very short, what happens is since it's a different language and I'm learning it, I try to, you know, repeatedly watch it. So it takes a lot more time than the actual time of the video. Now I divide each section at number 12 just in case uh, I didn't tell that before. Uh, see since I've been doing the same spread for a long time now it does not take me much of a guess. I, I, I'm, I always do it at 12. Okay, So I stop writing around that area for that reason. I try not to go beyond that. Um, beyond 12 as such. So I stop as you can see just before 12 as much as possible. So what generally I would do is see I just draw sort of this divider between the three sections as such. Now I try as I said to go in a vertical way probably to avoid the spearing which I didn't realize I was doing for that but clearly I've been doing because not much of a smearing happening but my handwriting is going into disaster land at the moment. I don't know whether I asked this before because I'm getting kind of distracted but I hope this uh, angle is okay for you. I try to get it closer to the book so that you can see what I'm writing because I usually like to watch and actually read what you know what the planners planner people are writing down there instead of seeing the planner from afar but uh, if this angle bothers you next time I won't be you know when I do a plan with me as such I try, I'll try not to get it as close to the planner I think my previous uh, angle was more or less fine with everyone of course I rarely do any plan with me so I think I've just done one before in case you want to check that out, please feel free to do that. I'll try to link it somewhere. How much time do you all usually take to finish a setup for a new month? Or a week, however you do it.
so this is the only aspect that takes time because i have to read and write now we are going ahead uh, to the next section since the and i knew i was going to make a mistake i think i did something wrong yes uh not exactly a mistake i went way close to 12 but that's fine uh if i mis make mistakes uh minor ones i just ignore them i don't mind leaving it on there i just cancel them with the pen itself as of otherwise i tend to use the tombow marker this is my favorite for this planner because it's more or less the same color so it works great so let's go to the second section which is uh to do uh some of the to dos i can set up in advance okay it's not that i have to set it up but some of them i can uh majorly i would say um they are my cleaning to dos that i can set up in advance more than anything else so for example i have this routine set up already which i have right next to me so what you can do is also the same thing i have already a video created on that how you can create routines and actually follow them so i'll try to link that as well so what i do is i just look at that what weekly routine i have and fill this up again therefore does not take much time and of course uh, since it's already may i kind of remember it as well so this is largely my cleaning to dos as such and this is not that i definitely do it on these days okay they they change i do it on other days depending on whether i am free that day or not uh many things are added on a day to day basis so you won't see in everything over here just certain things that definitely take place every week is what you see over here so i tend to post on sundays generally uh, upload to youtube on saturday on instagram and plan on sundays as you can see over here uh, for the next week so this that is why you see this sort of setup uh, but see the rest of it i won't be doing now because uh, i'm doing this way ahead of june uh, just for the video so i won't be filling those up again i'm going to divide at 12 the last section is quite small it is for events now events are not many for me simply because i don't attend events in the sense that i prefer to stay at home i am an indoor person i do not like to go out much but they you will see events every week simply because they are church events which even if i don't go to them i tend to go to them often but in case i don't go to them i still need to keep track of them as such uh in the sense that uh, we need to have a report at the end of the year which i have to write and i need to know how many events took place where they took place what time so i tend to write these uh the most common ones that we have are on wednesday saturday and sunday there are others too but that depends on the week so i cannot write those in advance i know that these three are sure uh again i can't write the exact event because uh, i don't know where it is taking place that is decided on the previous sunday since i'm doing this way early i can't fill this up now but generally i would write the event where it is taking place and when the time as well so this is my weekly spread which is largely set up for the week as you can see it's already full so it's easy to fill it up on a day to day basis for me so i hope you like this now we are going to the daily okay now this is uh, my current one since i'm doing this in advance we just let's uh, go to june so dailies begin with the sort of a dashboard dashboard for me is not exactly functional i use it for fun in the sense that i i take um, i write down any quotes or fun things that i read over here so again i can decorate it if i have the patience to do so but most of the times i don't have and i just write whatever i feel like writing over here so what i do is i take a screenshot or click a pic of the of whatever i read 
and then I just refer to it and then take it down over here. So I have a collection of that then I delete it off once I've written it down over here. So let's do that now. Okay, uh, since the pics were on my phone, I couldn't record that. But this is what I did. I have just written two things that I got recently which I liked. And uh, just use this washi. This is from MT. Uh, don't expect to see much of creative talent over here because this is not an art journal channel and I don't have any of those talents. So this, you will just see plain washi strips. That's it. No layering or any techniques over here. Anyway, these are the words that I liked. Never begin the day until it is finished on paper. I think that suits what we are doing at the moment. Plan your day ahead and then begin your day. Again, I don't think you have to plan each and everything because uh, I think there was a system. Uh, it's not planning. I think they called it manifesting. I don't remember whether it was the planner perfect method or which one. Uh, I don't... I'm not really into that where I write all... I write completely how my day should go uh, maybe it interests you but that is not something I'm really interested in uh, I just like to plan it out as much as possible but not of, of course not everything is in your control it will change and the second one that I liked is if you don't design your life plan chances are you'll fall into someone else's plan and guess what they have planned for you not much again I think it's something <clears throat> interesting and I feel it connected to each other so I just put it down over here I might put down something else if I find as of now I don't have anything else to add over here but I think I might fill up the space as well now let's go to the daily spreads so as far as setting up the dailies are concerned I just have one thing to do which is stickering now here is where I actually decorate my planner so the daily spreads are for journaling but I randomly sticker when I set up my month. So it has no theme or plan to it. It is completely random. Whichever sticker sheet that I want to go with, I will just randomly sticker it for the entire 30 days. If I want to leave a spread blank, I will leave it blank. Because I know that most of the days I won't need the entire spread. So I can write around the sticker as such. So not something I'm really worried about in terms of not having space as such. Now let's go to my stickers. Uh, one thing that I'm proud about is uh, this year I think, in fact I believe I have uh, not bought a single sticker or washi this year so I'm quite proud of myself. These are from last year's, uh, last year I have these with me and I'm taking them from this set and using it up. Uh, now one sticker shop that I really want to try is uh, Sterling Ink because I love her stickers. But I've stopped myself from buying from that uh, for a number of reasons. One, I have a lot of these, so I'm not going to buy any more unless I use the ones that I have. Again, I'm not just trying to use it up, I'm trying to use it properly in the sense that uh, not excessively, but enough for that spread. And uh, secondly, I feel that I'm seeing her sticker everywhere. It seems more or less like, <coughs> sorry, I'm seeing the same spread on pretty much every channel or wherever I see it. Again, it's not a big deal. I can still buy the same thing if I like it. But anyway, let's just go through this. Again, no theme to it. It is not that I go according to it is June, so I'll go with a specific theme. I randomly go through my sticker set and just choose one that I feel like using for that month. Uh, I know that I will have, I will end up using one or the other for Oh no, the other month. So I know I'm going to finish it this year. Because there are still a lot of months left. I think I'll go with this one. Green, green. <laughs> Randomly, I think I'll go with that. Uh, these, these behind this, it's not much. In case you are interested, it's just some sticky notes and random things. These are the MU, MU I think that's how you call them. They are the print-on stickers. They come two sheets in a set. Okay. And I generally use two sheets for um, the entire month. And in fact, this is their, um, I think this is their sticker storage book, print on sticker storage book. That is why it fits perfectly in this book. Uh, I've, I got both of these uh, from Yoseika Stationery, but of course there are many other websites that offer these as well. Uh, why I choose these over other stickers is also because they are print on stickers. 
they do not bulk up your book now last year if you've seen my planner flip through towards the end of the year i had quite a bulky planner um i wouldn't say it okay my video is getting cut short multiple times but uh, so some things already went through but i'll just show what what how i deal with these stickers okay um so i use these stickers because they keep my planner more or less not bulked up so if you can see over here these are this is opening up right now because uh, i had a pen in it for a long time but as of otherwise see you can see that there's no added bulk to it and it's almost half the year and i have added stickers on all the daily pages or almost all the daily pages so it should but it doesn't because of these stickers uh it is just something that i'm enjoying this year i might change into the regular stickers next year i like them but they are a little bit of a struggle i'll show you why so what you have to do is you have to basically cut whichever shape you want okay so i tend to use uh, the entire set of two sheets for an entire month uh you can stick less just go with one sheet but i tend to stick the entire because it's themed more or less the same so i go with the same sheet for the entire month so i have already cut out a piece okay so it's like a sofa oh my god it's winter themed uh that's fine uh anyway i don't care uh so what you have to do is so there is a sort of paper you have to remove this okay you have to remove this place it wherever you want to Mm. Again, I'm not creative with this, but I'm just going to keep it randomly here. And then you actually need something with a flat surface, okay? Uh, but I'm going to make use of the pen, and you have to kind of rub it in, okay? So the image is. Uh, transferred onto your planner uh, where i'm sitting i don't have what i usually use to do this i don't have any specific tool i just have one something that i usually use to do this not sure how well, well it will come with the pen but let's see and you kind of have to peel it off now oh it's come i thought it wouldn't work So that's about it. That's all you have to do. So I will do the same for the entire thirty <coughs> days or thirty one. No, thirty days. Thirty days, and get back to you on that because it's a little bit of a struggle for me to do it over here, and the lighting is horrible as well. Uh, and I'll get back to you and show you that again. Okay, so I'm back, uh, and I've stickered it all up. Uh, let me know whether you want to actually see when I sticker all that up, or is it just boring for you? uh if you want to i can get back to you on that uh anyway so i'll just do a quick flip through of what i've done like i've said i've used that uh entire set one set is usually with two sh sticker sheets you can use less than that if you want to if you feel that it's more secondly what i would advise you to do is unlike me what you can do is if you keep a pencil board you can avoid these marks that come up because you are pressing onto the paper and there's a little bit of those you know dents that appear uh but these let me tell you what you see over here once you start writing you won't see it appear as such uh these are just for the time being it it won't last for a long while so it's not really a big deal sometimes i leave the pages blank if i want to with fewer stickers it's just random there's no specific theme to it as such and i don't have any particular talent in layering them or you know some artistic talent and placing them in the right man i just do it randomly i don't even remember leaving this one uh this one has a lot of marks this time because i couldn't find what i usually use and i actually did it with the bottom of the marker like i did the first one uh it transferred pretty quickly then the first one because i got an idea of how to do it 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 transferred pretty quickly but i think because i did with that the marks that have appeared on the paper are more obvious um So try to find something with like a flat surface. Uh, in case you're willing to buy, then in fact, MU has their own some kind of tool that you get to press on these stickers as such. So you don't have to find something; you could just use that. So that is about it for the month of June with regards to the daily spreads. And as far as the back is concerned, I have this uh, to be read section. 
so again there's nothing to set up here because it's already been set up it depends on whether i read the book or not i complete accordingly so these were the stars i talked about in the obonichi stencil so this is what i do once it's completed okay uh, this is how it would look like so these are empty now because i have not read them yet so i hope you enjoyed this video and the setup if you did not like something you could mention that also and i would love to work on that so see you all in the next video guys bye